Digital News, 9th April to 15th April 2017 by Deepak Miglani. Supreme Court refused to confirm the capital punishment for men who killed pregnant wife and son. Politicians, parties must be made accountable for Paul Promises, Chief Justice of India. Ten years after launch, e-filing service only at four high courts. Pakistani military courts awarded death penalty to ex-Indian Navy man Kulbushan Jadhav. Delhi High Court reopened a case relating to irregularities in Lalit Kala Academy. Madras High Court judge suggested mediation in Stagila dispute. Men claimed cell tower gave him cancer. Supreme Court shut it down. Death due to provocation, not cruel act of murder. Supreme Court. Supreme Court ruled out blanket ban on web content on sex determination. Supreme Court set aside power tariff order of appellate tribunal for electricity. Gujarat law to cap private schools fees catches centers I. Justice Karnan summoned Chief Justice of India, six Supreme Court judges to his home court. Denied boarding in 2009, women wins rupees 1.24 lakh in a suit. Cannot change employer's opinion about worker, Delhi High Court. Do not assist Jadhav. Warning from Lahore High Court Bar Association. Now, news in detail. Supreme Court refused to confirm the capital punishment for man who killed pregnant wife and son. In a major boost to the campaign against death penalty, the Supreme Court refused to confirm the capital punishment for a man who burned his pregnant wife and son for dowry, saying extreme punishment militated against the reformative theory of jurisprudence. Though the crime could qualify for the rarest of the rare criteria for awarding the death penalty, the court took a different view after considering the case. A bench of justices Pinaki C. Ghosh and R. F. Nariman said that today when capital punishment has become a distinctive feature of the death penalty apparatus in India which somehow breaches the reformative theory of punishment under criminal law, we are not inclined to award the same in the peculiar facts and circumstances of the present case. Politicians, parties, must be made accountable for Paul Promises, Chief Justice of India. Speaking at a seminar on economic reforms with reference to electoral issues organized by the Confederation of Indian Bar, Chief Justice of India, J. S. Kher, said that politicians and parties must be held accountable for Paul Promises which routinely remain unfulfilled as voters forget the commitments. The Chief Justice of India said election manifestos of parties become a piece of paper and the frabies promised by parties remain unfulfilled once the elections are over. Ten years after launch, e-filing service only at four high courts. Nearly a decade after the e-courts project began in 2010 on a mission mode and after having spent close to rupees 1000 crore only Delhi, Bombay, MP and Punjab and Haryana High Courts in the country have allowed online e-filing of cases. Online e-filing facility has not been started by other High Courts. Pakistani military courts awarded death penalty to ex-Indian Navy man 
कुलभूषण जाधव पाकिस्तानी मिलिट्री कोर्ट्स अवार्डेड डेथ पेनल्टी टू एक्स इंडियन नेवी मैन कुलभूषण जाधव ऑन चार्जेस ऑफ स्पाइंग फॉरेन सेक्रेटरी एस जयशंकर मेड इंडिया आउटरीच एविडेंट बाय समनिंग पाकिस्तानी हाई कमिश्नर अब्दुल बासिट टू प्रोटेस्ट द डेथ सेंटेंस हैंडेड आउट बाय ए मिलिट्री सीक्रेट कोर्ट दिल्ली हाई कोर्ट रीओपन ए केस रिलेटिंग टू इरेगुलरिटीज इन ललित कला अकेडमी दिल्ली हाई कोर्ट रीओपन ए केस रिलेटिंग टू एलिज इरेगुलरिटीज इन द ललित कला अकेडमी ए बेंच ऑफ चीफ जस्टिस जी रोहिणी एंड जस्टिस संगीता धिंगरा सहगल आस्क देंटर टू एक्सप्लेन हाउ द अपॉइंटमेंट of current academy secretary was justified when he faced disciplinary proceedings for financial irregularities the court's observation came on two petitions filed separately by artist akhilesh verma and manish pushkale challenging sharma's appointment madras high court judge suggested mediation in stagila dispute the madras high court asked if the case involving online homestay aggregator stagila could be decided by mediation when the bail application of stagila ceo yogendra vasupal came up for hearing before justice s bhaskaran the latter made a passing reference about the charge of breach of trust mentioned in the fir and asked since it being breach of trust a rising out of business transaction could it not be resolved by mediation man claimed cell tower gave him cancer supreme court shut it down a 42 year old domestic help will go down in history as the man who persuaded the supreme court to shut down a mobile phone tower on the ground that its electromagnetic radiation afflicted him with cancer last year harish chand tiwari who works at the residence of prakash verma in dal bazar area of gwalior moved the supreme court through advocate nivedita sharma complaining that a bsnl tower illegally installed on a neighbor's rooftop in 2002 had exposed him to harmful radiation 24 by 7 for the last 14 years a bench of justice ranjan gogoi and navin sina said we direct that the particular mobile tower shall be deactivated by bsnl within 7 days from today death due to provocation not cruel act of murder supreme court that due to grave and sudden provocation could not be termed as a cruel act of murder the supreme court has said while reducing the life term of a man to 10 year jail term in a homicidal case a bench comprising justice a k sikri and r k agrawal granted the relief to punjab resident suren singh who had filed an appeal against 2008 judgment of high court of punjab and haryana which had confirmed a 1998 trial court verdict awarding life imprisonment to him supreme court ruled out blanket ban on web content on sex determination the supreme court said it could not direct online search engines to block all texts pertaining to prenatal sex determination test as it would deprive researchers academicians and students valuable information on the issue although the apex court has repeatedly expressed concern over the declining sex ratio in the country and passed a slew of directions for implementation of preconception and prenatal diagnostic techniques act to curb the practice of sex determination and selective abortion it expressed reservation in directing the internet giants to remove all information on sex selection as it would violate people's right to know 
सुप्रीम कोर्ट सेट असाइड पावर टैरिफ ऑर्डर ऑफ एपलेट ट्रिब्यूनल फॉर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी द सुप्रीम कोर्ट सेट असाइड एन ऑर्डर ऑफ एपलेट ट्रिब्यूनल फॉर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी अलाउंग पावर जनरेटिंग कंपनीज एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर्स टाटा पावर लिमिटेड एंड अडानी पावर लिमिटेड टू चार्ज कंपनसेटरी टैरिफ फ्रॉम कंज्यूमर्स ड्यू टू इंक्रीज इन कॉस्ट ऑफ कॉल a bench of justice pc ghosh and rf nariman turned down the plea of the companies that rise in the price of coal should be considered as a force majeure event an event that is result of elements of nature superior force making them entitled to claim compensatory tariff gujarat law to cap private school fees catches centers i A new Gujarat law, Gujarat Self-Finance Schools Regulation of Fees Bill 2017, that seeks to regulate fees in private schools, is set to have caught the centre's interest. Its objective is to control the exorbitant fees charged by private schools. The bill empowers the government to constitute four fee regulatory committees, one each for states, four zones. to determine fees for admission to any standard or course of study in self financed schools justice karnan summoned chief justice of india six supreme court judges to his home court in a move probably unprecedented in the country's legal history justice c s karnan of the calcutta high court passed an order asking chief justice of india J S K Har and six brother judges of the Supreme Court to appear before him at his residential court in Kolkata on April 28. Chief Justice of India K Har and six other judges had earlier initiated contempt proceedings against Justice Karnan and summoned him to appear before him on March 31, 2017. The seven judges constitutional bench. had also issued a billable arrest warrant against justice karnan denied boarding in 2009 women wins 1.24 lakh in a suit in 2009 radha was 5 minutes late for her india bound flight from uk and was denied a boarding pass she had to book another airline while hearing her case 8 years later national consumer disputes redressal commission said that airlines indulge in overbooking that causes a lot of inconvenience to passengers who are left out from their scheduled flights despite having confirmed reservation cannot change employer's opinion about worker delhi high court Delhi High Court has said that a court cannot replace opinion of the employer on an employee's performance. It said the final call whether a probationary employee's services are satisfactory or not lies with the employer and upheld the termination of services of a teacher by a private school in the national capital. do not assist jadhav warning from lahore high court bar association the lahore high court bar association said that it would penalize any lawyer who offered their services to kulbhushan jadhav who has been sentenced to death by a pakistan military court the association has decided to cancel the membership of any lawyer who offers his services to indian spy kulbhushan jadhav the lahore high court bar association secretary general amir said ran said after a meeting thank you